We understand that the average quality loss can be a good index to determine a design qualities. Now we would like to have uh, actual numbers to be the objective in the future design. Say this is the summary of the average quality loss for three different type of problem. Nominal the best, smaller the better, and larger the better. So by using these criteria, we can optimize our performance goal depends on different type of uh, design problem. At the same time, we can optimize the conformance by minimize the performance deviation. And here, quality loss coefficient k is not always easy to obtain. And also, this is k is uh, simply a constant. Therefore, in the quality measures, we can neglect k and just look at the mean square deviation part of the average quality loss. So the mean square deviation for smaller the better, larger the better, and nominal the best will be listed over here. But this is a pretty new concept for typical engineer. They are not familiar with this average quality loss. In order to make the quality control engineer to accept his purpose of a quality measure, he borrowed the concept from communication systems, the SN ratio. What is the signal to noise ratio? Uh, if you want to design a good communication system, usually you want to deliver a signal, like here. But there was some noise associated with your output. And so the actual signal will be like this, which is a combination of the true signal and the noise. A good design can reduce the inference of the noise as small as possible. Therefore, they use signal over noise ratio to determine how good your design is. If your power of signal is much larger than the power of noise, then your signals will not be scrambled by this noise. This is the conventional definition of a signal over noise ratio. Here, you take the signal power over noise power but you take a logarithm transformation and multiply by 10. And this is the definition of a conventional SN ratio. The unit of the SN ratio is called decibel, dB. Taguchi want to extend this concept of SN ratio into his uh, definition of quality measure. So SN ratio is the signal power over noise power. And in engineering system, what is the signal? Taguchi borrowed a concept in communication systems and think the expected output of an engineering system is similar to the signal power in a communication system. And for those unwanted and expected output, which is a noise power in communication systems, in engineering, which are those unexpected output, and this unexpected output can be estimated by the variability around the mean. So he tried to explain his quality measures using average quality loss is actually the effect of the mean over the variability around mean. So here he take the similar transformation using 10 times and log rhythm transformations of the mean square deviation and define this to be his SN ratio in quality control. Uh, the minus sign is try to convert the direction of loss and SN ratio. Because in conventional SN ratio, we would like the SN ratio to be as large as possible, but for the loss to be as small as possible. So by using this negative sign, we can make the direction to be consistent. By using this kind of mathematical transformations, if we look at the design with a larger SN ratio, which means the design will have a smaller mean square deviation. By using the logarithm transformation can also help to improve the uh, nonlinearity and to make the system um, easier. <coughs> and make the system can be estimated using a linear model. We will discuss about that in the future. So for smaller the better and larger the better, we just substitute this mean square deviation 
you into the equation and we will get the SN ratio for smaller the better and larger the better case. By using this SN ratio, we can obtain the same objective, which is optimize the performance goal and minimize the performance deviation. Therefore, we just need to find the design with the higher SN ratio. We can achieve these two goals for smaller and larger the better case. In nominal the best, very similar, the mean square deviation can be represented by the summation of these two terms. So we just need to substitute this mean square deviation into the logarithm transformation, we'll get the SN ratio for nominal the best problem. But for Taguchi's understanding for nominal the best, he thinks the average output for nominal the best problem should be right at the target. So for a design with a smaller SN ratio is not good enough. He would like to move the average output to the target by using a two-step optimization method, which we'll introduce later. In this case, if you do the second stage of modification, so by move the mean output to target, the mean square deviation will be changed too, since this second part will vanish. And also, the first part, the standard deviation, might be different from the original standard deviation. So we need to estimate what is the mean square deviation after two-stage design optimization. By using this modification, you can understand why uh, Taguchi insists his average quality loss is very similar to signal-to-noise ratio. And again, we will talk about that in the next session.